welcome to day 30 of the AKT 30 day challenge. Now I know you've been working really hard and so today we're not going to do any questions, just going to go through a few tips for exam day to help you for tomorrow. So the first thing is once the exam starts, it's really important that you read carefully. I know you're pushed for time but this is really important because sometimes people will lose marks even though they have the right knowledge because they either misread the instructions or they misread the questions. So if we start with instructions, some questions will ask you to select an answer and drag it to a certain place, you know, for example, to fill in the right algorithm. Now, if you were to just click the right answer, but not drag it to the right place, even though it's the right answer, you won't get any marks for it. Some questions ask for more than one correct answer, the multiple best answer type question. So if a question says which two of the following are risk factors for whatever, if you select one and click next, it won't warn you that you need to select another one, but you won't get the mark because you need to get both to get the mark. And watch out for certain keywords. So there are some questions which will give you a description of a case or a patient scenario. And then you might say, which of the following is the single most likely diagnosis? Now, let's say there are two uh, diagnoses that fit the symptoms. The one that's the single most likely is whichever one is more common, whichever one that has the higher incidence. OK, um, so, you know, sometimes there might be another one which is a lot more serious, but that's not the single most likely. OK. Watch out for certain negatively framed questions. So a question might ask, which of the following is not seen in? Or which of the following is not an important risk factor for? And if you miss that not, it'd be very easy to select the wrong answer. And if you're in a rush, you could easily move on and actually drop a mark. It's really important that you keep to time. So for standard timing, you've got 190 minutes to answer 200 questions. That gives you 57 seconds per question. OK, so, you know, at about 55 seconds, if you're not sure, it's better just to guess, flag it for review because you weren't sure and move on. This way, at least you answer every question that you can get the marks for and, you know, pick up the easy marks for you, because what's easy for you might be different to another candidate. You know, you've done different reading and you've had different jobs, but that way you pick up the easy marks for you. And then hopefully you've built up a few minutes to go back to those that you were unsure of. Whereas, you know, sometimes what happens is that you might end up struggling, spending a minute and a half on a question you're struggling with. The fact that you're finding it difficult, you're more likely to end up getting it wrong anyway. But then as a result, you do that for 10, 15 questions. You might miss the last 10 questions. So you've given away 5%. And that could be the difference for a lot of candidates. So if you're not sure, mark it for review and move on. Similarly, if you're not sure, don't ever leave a question blank because sometimes people think, oh, I'll leave it blank and I'll come back to it. And then they run out of time and you definitely have lost the mark. Whereas if you guess, you know, if you're making an educated guess, you may pick up the mark in quite a few questions like this anyway. Do flag it for review because you can always come back then. Um, another really important thing is, you know, you've put in a lot of hard work, a lot of effort. And so it's really important that you have some confidence in yourself. It will help you through the exam. There's some questions that seem obvious as soon as you've read the question, some questions that you think, oh, this seems really easy. And sometimes what people do is they start second guessing themselves, they start doubting themselves. And then what they do is they, because they're thinking it's too easy, they start overthinking and they change a correct answer for an incorrect one. The reason it seems easy is because you know your stuff, okay? You worked hard, you read it, you remember it. That's why it seems easy, okay? So have some confidence in yourself, put down, you know, those questions where you immediately are drawn to one option, mark it down, confidently just move on. Don't even flag it for review. Don't come back to those. Don't overthink those. You'll only end up changing a correct answer for an incorrect one and, and losing marks, okay? So the last thing to say is, you know, you've worked really hard. You've put all this effort in and it's all gonna pay off. You're gonna be absolutely fine tomorrow. Just remember some of these tips, okay? Keep to pace, keep to time, and just keep going. You're gonna get through this exam. Um, all the best with the exam, okay? Thank you so much for joining me uh, throughout these 30 days and all the best for tomorrow. Thank you so much. Thank you.